Hello? Hi, is this Mrs. Bryant? Who's calling? I'm calling from... I was calling for Dane. At 10.45 at night? Yeah, yeah, don't, don't, don't get smart with me. Like, um, we just, there was a problem here at the gym today, and I just needed to talk to him. There's a problem at the gym? Yeah. At which gym? The gym that he was at earlier today. You're not Dane, right? Are you Dane? No. Oh, okay. I need to talk to Dane, because you're not on the account. Um, so you don't have his number. Okay. Well, this is the number he put on his account. Is it like, are you his ex or something? Is that why you're mad? Is there, like, another number? Don't you get smart with me. You call me at 1045 at night. Don't you tell me not to get smart with you. I didn't say Who not to... Who the hell do you think you are? I never said What's not to get name? smart. I never said not to get smart with me. What's you, your name? You're making up things. My name's Roy. You just told me not to get smart with you. No, I, I don't. Said I never time. said anything like that. Oh, really? I have a recording of this call. It's Everything's Good. recorded Let's for quality purposes. What's your name? My name's Roy still. It hasn't changed in the last, you know, 30 seconds. Royce? Just Roy. Okay. Quit, quit adding and letters under my name. What's your phone number? Can I just talk to Dane? Is Dane there? I want to report you to your supervisor. No, 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 I won't allow it. Is that Dane in the background? Put Dane on the phone. No, I'm not even that supposed is my... You don't tell me to put you, Dane on the phone. You put Dane on the phone right now. Right now. Who the fuck do you... I want... Okay. I am calling... No, going no, to be no, no. Thing you going will on not. Here. You will not. You are not allowed. You get back in the kitchen. Who the fuck do you think... Oh, you, you... Just a moment. Listen. Put Dane on the phone. There's, there's some crazy guy on the phone here. Who is this? Oh, hi. My name is Roy. I'm calling from... Roy, you call my house at 10.45 at night? Correct. And give my wife shit, dude? Oh, no, I didn't say anything. I don't know what her problem is. I'm just trying to... I'm trying uh, to get no, hold of I know what your problem is. What's your problem? Oh, I'm, I'm just trying to get a hold of Dane. Is there a Dane there? Uh, Dane doesn't live here. Oh, well, don't freak hey? out. And you don't call my house at 10.45 at night. Okay, well, who's Dane? Can you just give me his number? I don't see what the problem is. Just give me his Dane number. Dane is my son, and I'm not giving you his number. Well, he left this number. Like, why would he leave your number? Left it for what? This is his contact number, you idiot. He, he left this number for us to call if there's... This an, is uh, his contact number, you idiot? Don't call so me... now you're calling me an idiot? No, don't call me you're, an idiot. You're do, do not call me an shit. idiot. Don't fuck yourself. Listen. You don't... Oh, Broadband 2 is blinking red. Oh, Broadband 2, that's that's the Nigerian scammer light. Well, what the heck's going on? I don't know. Do you have a hammer? Do you have a hammer? I love you. Uh oh, you're a sick bastard, Dave. Have a good day. I love you. Whoa, excuse me? The kitchen is a bedroom, you're telling me? Well, I'm being the prank called on the telephone. Yeah, I'm just right there. It was a Pikachu, mm-hmm. alright? It don't matter, the fuck, Pikachu. You take that back. I'm not taking back nothing. You don't call me an MF. No, I said motherfucker. Fuck you and your dumb pack, okay? Why were you in our cooler for an hour? You hang up your piece of phone first. Thank you, Carter Pillar, for that new intro mix song thing. I should have played that gym call where she told me not to say MF or whatever. But too late now. Hey, everyone, you're listening to the 534th episode of the Snowplow Show. This is the show where we interview people over the telephone, but we don't tell them it's an interview and we misrepresent who we are and we make crazy claims about things that they've done to see how they respond. It's a very unique method of interviewing people. I've got a bunch of really great interviews lined up for today's show. This show is brought to you by Nikki D and B.I. Eber for Life. 
Sim Speak, Christine, and Boca Recovery Center. Thanks all five of you for being supporters of the show over at patreon.com slash phone losers. I got an email here from Jeff B. that's in response to my Royal Farms prank calls from Valentine's Day. He says he decided to try and call a Royal Farms, and he didn't even claim to be corporate, but they said, you're not from corporate, and he says he thinks they're suffering from PTSD from my calls on Valentine's Day. He sent me a clip here of his phone call to them. Let's see what happens. Thanks for calling Royal Farms. We're fresh real fast. Kayla speaking. How may I help you? Hi, this is a technician testing the line. Can you please hold on just one moment? No. Okay, I've been having some reports of some static on this line. Funny, because you're not from my corporate. <laughs> I'm See? not from corporate. I'm from the phone company, from AT&T. Completely I'm pretty different. sure that... Okay, first of all, we don't use AT&T, so you're wrong, and well, you're a camera, and you can stop calling. Actually, we've had some... St- Yep, yep, she was she was all ready to just bite anyone's head off that said anything out of the ordinary. So thanks for sending that in, Jeff B. One more thing before we get started today, Clownsec is doing another coin. He's always doing coins. This one has nothing to do with Clownsec. I don't know what the hell this one is. It's for magicians, you know, doing coin tricks and stuff. And it says chakra and health. It's very colorful. Makes me want to do a colorful coin. But he set up a Kickstarter to fund these coins. And I bought a coin. You should too. I'm going to put a link in the show notes to Don Fickle's Kickstarter for the new coin. He's up to $920 of his $1,300 goal. So I think he'll make it, but you should support it anyway. Speaking of fundraisers, Nick Caesar's dog could still use your help. He's got a bunch of vet bills that he needs to deal with. So I will also put a link to that in the show notes if you want to help Nick Caesar's dog. He has to get a robotic spine installed or something, something like that. Maybe not a robotic spine, but he's trying to help his dog get better. Everyone, please help Nick Caesar's dog. He's the one that does a lot of the cartoon art for this show. So if you like a lot of the cartoon art that you see in this show, then that should give you incentive to help his dog. And if you don't want to just donate to a GoFundMe account, you can also buy shirts from Nick Caesar. He's got a ton of PLA designs in his t-shirt store, which I believe is scaryart.spreadshirt.com. I will put links to all of that stuff in the show notes if you want to help out Nick Caesar's dog. Oh yeah, one last thing before we get started with today's show. I think I keep saying that over and over, sorry. For the next Snowplow show, or it might end up being a hobo soda if I can't get through to anyone, but the plan involves a bunch of my third and fourth cousins that I've recently found on 23andMe.com. I need ideas on how to prank call them, and I'm going to put a link in the show notes to a poll on Facebook for you to submit ideas or vote on your favorite ideas that are on there. You know, stuff like, this is Sensei Doug from 23andMe Customer Support. We noticed that you have the snake eyes gene, or we noticed that your parents are brother and sister. Looks like there's about 30 ideas on here so far. So thank you everyone for sending ideas in for that. And if you want to go join the fun, I will put a link in the show notes. That will hopefully be a show this coming week, assuming I can get through to any of these people. I'm a former Marine, and I was taught to kill weirdos. Everybody was so frightened the other day. What's wrong with these guys? Hey, 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 hey there. Come on. Settle down. They're probably just enjoying nature. You know, they're just the free spirits out there hanging out, laying out the lawn. I think today I'm going to finish up this list of gym customers that was sent to me by Yaddy. Because I think, I mean, really, now, even at this point right now, their customers have probably all been talking to each other and saying, hey, there's some crazy guy making prank calls. Be on the lookout for any calls from this place. It's not really them. Maybe I should call people and warn them about that. Hello. Hey, Greg. Hello. Greg, can you hear me? Yes. Greg? Yeah. It's Richard from the gym. Yes. Hey, we've been getting uh, some, some, someone's been prank calling our customers. I wanted to let you know, like, yeah, if, any, know. if anyone calls, just, uh, you know, like, they're probably not really from the gym, just so you know. I understand. Yeah, Ruby sent out an email, so I got oh, okay. that message. Great. All right. No worries. Just, just making All sure right, everyone knows about that. Hey, um, I just, I, I needed to uh, ask if you could stop putting flyers for your tax service on people's windows, on their car windows. <laughs> no i'm serious oh my we God. can't have that here you caught me at a great time too i'm getting a little edgy what do you mean edgy so what's going on are you okay y- yeah i'm fine why are you asking that i don't know 
<laughs> That's weird. All right, man. I gotta go. I got a client here. Well, why are you laughing? Like, um, can you can you seriously stop doing that? Stop putting your flyer. Oh, there he goes. What does he mean, edgy? What's he talking about? Did he know I was the prank caller? I'm so confused on that one. So on that guy's email address, it has his name Greg, and then it's at, and it has uh, you know blah 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 tax services whatever whatever dot com. So he's a tax guy, and he's putting shit on people's windows. Obviously, it's too bad he didn't believe me though. And that sucks that somebody sent out an email warning everyone about me. I figured that had happened, but maybe if I started out with a warning on everyone, they'll they'll think I'm legit. But I think. I think I'm just going to call a few more of these and uh, probably have to call it quits because no one's going to believe me. Hello? Hey, uh, Mr. Castle. Yes? It's it's Richard from the gym. Uh, yeah, you guys have called already. Oh, yeah, they called to warn you about we've been getting, uh, someone's been prank calling our customers? Uh, yeah. Okay, I, I'm sorry, I didn't know you'd been called yet. We have two different lists we're working with here. Sorry okay. about sorry about that. Yep. Hey, hey, as long as I have you on the phone. Ah. All right, so they're calling people and they're emailing people. This is pointless. I should just stop right now. I should move on to something else. Hello. Dave, why does your phone ring like that? What do you mean? I don't know. It sounds like it's from Russia or something. Uh huh? It's, it's just like a solid tone instead of dual tones. It's weird. It's a single tone. Oh. What? Who is this? Oh, this is, is this? this is Richard from the gym. Richard from the gym. Yeah, I work here. Um, they they wanted me to call you and ask you to stop putting flyers on people's cars. I'm not putting. I'm I'm in Mexico. I know, but when you're here, the last time you were here, I guess they've been waiting for you to come in so they can confront you about this, but you haven't been in a while, so they just said, "Well, you know, just go ahead and call him because we can't have him doing that." I never put flyers on people cars. Oh no, we know it was you. Oh, we've we've got security cameras out there. Wasn't me. Oh no, it was definitely you. It says it says right on the flyers is Dave. So I'm I'm afraid I'm afraid there's you you hang on to that. And I'll I'll be back in a couple of weeks. Okay, well look, yeah. you're not in trouble. You don't have to deny it. I'm just saying, please don't do it again. Well, I'm not denying it. I'm just saying you're wrong. No, I no, you're, flyers, you're the one that's wrong because we have security cameras. We know what you look like. We can see you out there putting flyers, and the flyers all have your name and your phone number on them. What the hell would I do that for? I don't know. But what, what's, what, what, what phone number? I, this one that I just called, and it's you know it's just like advertising businesses, and just please don't do that. Like, you know, our, our not, customers here, they have a right to come to the gym and not have stuff put on their windows. And I never put anything on anybody's windows. Yeah, okay. Well, um, well don't give me that bullshit. I'm, not, well, I'm it is, telling you the truth. It is, you, you, it, if you think that's me on a security camera, oh, I'm sure what it's, reason do I have? I'm a re, I've been retired for 10 years. Maybe money is tight. I'm I don't know. I'm not in any kind of business. Huh? Maybe money is tight. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with you. I'm, I'm just saying please don't do it again. Well, Maybe, I'm telling you what's wait. going on with me. Maybe just uh, go over to Walmart and put flyers on people's cars at Walmart instead. I don't put flyers on people's cars. You you guys are mistaken. Or you you're the manager, right? Yeah, yeah. Who else would put a flyer on someone's car with your name on it? And it was you. Like we know I what you look no like. I have no clue. What, but you you hang on to that security is, tape. Is it like an evil and twin? I want to see it. What, huh? Hey, is it like an evil twin you have or something? I don't know. And what do you mean security? You know, what do you mean security? I, I want to see that. What do you mean? What do you mean security tape? Uh, I, I have no reason to do such a thing. Well, yeah, you do to advertise your business. I don't have a business. For Christ's sake, how many times am I going to tell you that? Well, this is that. That would be the first time you told me that. Huh? That's the first time you've told me that. I've told you I've been retired for ten years, or well, well, I, five years. I, I, I don't. And I, I didn't have a business ugh. that I would advertise. I, I never owned a business. Then why would you make flyers for one? I didn't. That's the point I'm trying to tell you. All right, look, just somebody's pull, somebody's pulling bullshit on both of us. Then, if that's and I want that's I, what I say. I I want to see that 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 tape. Yeah. What, what was it? By the way, what was the date? What do you uh, mean? On the tape? What do you mean? Well, you've done it multiple what times. What are you talking about? Tape. 
What do you mean multiple times? What do you mean tape? What What do you mean see the tape? What well, you tape? said you had a, you had it on video. Oh yeah, yeah, not on tape though. It's it's not the nineteen nineties. It's all digital now. It's well, a, you, it's a machine. Do, 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 have you kept Have you kept a copy of it? Yeah, yeah. They they stay in there forever. It's not taped. You don't have to erase over the tape after you after a month. Okay. Well, I know that. It's not, well, yeah. Okay, yeah. But anyway, yeah. yeah, it sounds like you're full of bullshit, and just you don't have to deny it. The what? I said it sounds like you're full of bullshit. Well, I'm not de- look, what, what what was the date of the last time that happened? I don't have the t- the the tape well, in front of me. Your, whoop, no, get get your facts right. No, we don't because do. F- I haven't I haven't been in <laughs> since January fourth. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's back when it was. Because we've been waiting for you to come in so we could confront you about this and tell you to cut it out. And you haven't well, come I in, never so that's, that's, why, that's why I'm calling. Huh? That's why I'm calling. Look, just, just okay, just just don't do it again. That's all we ask. You don't have to no, make a big no, thing out of this. No, uh-uh. You, you get this straight. Just stop it. One, I never did it. Yeah, you did. Two, I have no reason to do it. Number three, you've got the wrong... The wrong. Yeah, if somebody's using my name, then they're still the wrong person. Yeah, well, they're but also... What what kind of business are they advertising? They're, they're also using like your body to do it because we can see you oh, out in the parking shit. lot putting this shit on people's now, cars, you know, and you need to stop it. Huh? You need to stop it. And before this, you were well, like like jackass. Don't call me a jackass. Straight I'm not the one. Head. I did not do it. So don't tell me I need to stop it. And before this, you were you were out I there. D- well, we will we'll settle this. When, when I get back into the country. No, oh, I'm but, settling it right now. Just don't do it again. No, you're that's, not that's settling what I'm it saying. right Just now. Because stop you it. Get, you don't have your information correct, you dumb shit. Now, you know, I, I'm getting irritated at this because you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Yeah, I do. It's right here on the, on the, on the video. The video doesn't lie. You okay, s- send me a copy of that video. I don't want to. I'm, I'm just asking you to you cut it out. Bullshit. Because it's not me. It's definitely you. I, we know what you look like. You're in no, here all the time. It's not me. It is too. You stupid it's motherfucker. Not. I've never done anything like that. I have no reason to. Look, just stop being a stupid motherfucker, okay? That's all we ask. Just, well, no, just... you stop being an asshole. You, you I don't stop. Know what the fuck you're talking you about? You stop being a fuckface. Fuckface. What? I said you what stop. You, you stop being a fuckface. Well, well, I'll tell you what. I'll call Don and ask him to get a copy of the video and tell him what an idiot he's got for a general manager there. Okay, who, make, make sure you don't call the tape or he'll think you're an idiot. Oh, yeah, make sure you don't call the tape. Ha, 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 ha. I'm just well, saying. I, when, when I come in there, I'm going to come in and I'm going to want to see it. Well, and, and I want to, and, and we'll have it out right there. Because I've never done it. Can't you just admit? Never done just it. just admit that you did it and no don't do it again. Do it. Just I had no reason. Just to. admit that you did it and don't do it again. That's all we ask. No, I'm not going to admit that I did it, and I'm not going to put up with the bullshit from somebody that doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about. Just apologize, and that'll be the end of it. I won't apologize. You need to write apology letters and leave them on people's windshields. Yeah, I'll do that. Sure enough. <laughs> <laughs> God. All right. Listen, I'm done talking to you for the day. Bye. Okay. Bye. God damn Facebook. I don't know if you guys heard that or not in the background, but Facebook has started this thing. That's why I, I just let him go. I didn't, I, I, I just let him go. It's probably time to let him go anyway. But for the past two days now, Facebook has been doing this new thing where if one of my friends decides to do a live stream on Facebook, guess what happens? It starts playing the audio from it. And, you know, Laugh Track Matt, he's doing live streams nonstop all the time, every single day. I guess I can just mute that tab. But I thought Chrome was supposed to fix that. I thought they were making it so things couldn't pop up and start auto-playing at you. Now all of a sudden, Facebook's made it so that happens constantly with everyone that you know. Why, Facebook? Why? Anyway, yeah, we, we finally got one that's never heard of, you know, what's going on over at the gym. I guess because he's been in Mexico. I don't think they have email down in Mexico, so he probably didn't get the email. So that's sort of encouraging. I guess I'll keep doing this list for a while. I figured whoever I reached next would be my last call. 
probably whoever I reach next will be my last call. Oh, I have an idea. What if I call and tell them that somebody has hacked into the gym's email account and they've been sending out these fake emails claiming that somebody is prank calling customers as the gym and don't believe those emails. Oh man, what a great idea. No one's gonna know who to believe anymore. Is it just me or did that last guy I just talked to, did that sound just like Tom Sharpling from Steven Universe? I don't have a business for Christ's sake. How many times am I gonna tell you that? See, I should have said the business that he was advertising was for his car wash. Hello, Jack. Hello, Jack. Yes. Hey, it's Richard from the gym. Yeah. Hey, did you happen to get an email from us uh, saying that somebody was making phone calls to our customers? I did. Okay, so somebody hacked into our email account, and that email wasn't real? Okay. So uh, I, I just wanted to warn you about that. If you get any weird emails from the gym... Uh, they're not real emails, and uh, just, you know, sorry about that. Okay. And, and I, I think someone's been making phone calls, too, and they were spoofing our number. Just no, nobody knows what to believe anymore. You know, hello? Yeah, well, what can I do for you? Oh, I just wanted to let you know about that. Um, you know, somebody's spoofing emails. It's not us. I, I, we okay. don't know. We don't know how they're doing it. They're hackers. They must be scamming. Thanks. Hey, um, incidentally, uh, do you think you could stop scratching your uh, your business name into people's windows? On what? Really? He's gonna hang up. That guy was a lawyer. I was gonna tell him to stop scratching his law firm's phone number. I mean URL into into the frost on people's windows. We don't need that. But at least he's confused now. Oh yeah, that guy before Dave, like, uh, he, he didn't have a business name in his email or anything. I, I was just saying the thing about the flyers. I mean, I guess you guys know that since he was yelling at me that he's retired. Hey, I was just thinking about you. How you been? What's going on? I remember this guy. Just kidding. You got by my voicemail. <laughs> just leave me a message so I can get back with you. Uh, Thanks. Bye. That one's a jokester. So I'm completely deleting these documents uh, as I finish them up. I finished up two pages now. I haven't gotten a lot of answers, but it seems pointless to hold onto this list any longer since everyone's being warned about me. So we're now starting on the last page that I haven't touched yet. And then I'm going to go through the original three pages one more time and call the numbers that never picked up for me the other day. This is Brad. Hey, Brad. It's Richard from the gym. Uh, which Jim? Jim, did you receive an email from us a couple days ago about, uh, some phone calls? Uh, no. Well, I think I got something from Doug saying people were scamming something yeah. from somebody. From yeah. Somebody. Yeah, someone's been, uh, hacking our emails and sending out emails that aren't really from us, and I'm just calling to warn everyone not to believe the emails. Got it's, it. It's the weirdest yeah, thing. I, we don't. Yes. Yeah, once I saw that, um, I kind of made sure just disregarded everything. Okay. Yeah. We're we're not sure what the scam is exactly. We just know they they keep doing it. They keep sending out these emails and making weird claims about things happening here. Uh. Abs- okay. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, um. Hey. Uh, I just also uh, as long as I have you on the phone. Um, Doug was wanting me to ask if you could stop, um, writing your name on the frost in people's windows, on their car windows out in the parking lot. Say that again? You know, when the windows get all frosty and you can write in them, like the condensation yeah. and the, like, stop writing your name in everyone's windows. You know, we all know your name's Brad. <laughs> Are they assuming it's me? <laughs> well, no, they, the, 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 you're writing your, your name in there. You're writing Brad. Your last name, and we just, you know, we we need you to just stop that, please. Are you are you kidding me, or is this? <laughs> no, I wouldn't kid. I, I'm just, it, it's just a simple request. Like we've had a few complaints. Oh, well, it's not for, me doing it. So, well, who who else would write <laughs> your? I'm, who else would write your name? <laughs> that's, what saying, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I I thought you were kidding because I I don't do that kind of thing. Oh no, well no no we not, like I I don't think anyone else. It, it's we checked the times. And it's always when you're here. 
and they're writing the name, they're writing your name. So we know it's you. Like we're just asking if you can please stop. <laughs> please. This is kind of funny. So well, it's not me. So we'll just have to go with that. Okay. All right. If you want to deny it, that's fine. But in the future, can you please not do it anymore? <laughs> Who is this? Uh, this is Richard from the gym. Wait a second. Who? No. What's your last name? Why? Why do you need that? You can start writing my name in the windows. Yeah. What? What's your name? No, I don't want you doing that. I don't want you writing anything on any. Just don't touch other people's cars, okay? Well, what's your name? Uh, it's Richard. That's all you need to know. <laughs> well, you can just call Richard. Me. We'll just have to call. Find out. Okay, go ahead. Find out that I'm really Richard. They're not going to tell you my last name. I'm instructing everyone not to to give out my last name. <laughs> Especially I you. I recognize this voice, but I'm not, I'm not recognizing it right now. Uh, yeah. You, you should recognize it because you come in here all the time and we I say hello to you. Anyway, I've got other people to call and warn them about the email scam. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Brad. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> well, at least Brad enjoyed that. This is Mark. Hey, Mark. It's Roy from the gym. Yeah. Um, I they Doug wanted me to call you up and just ask if you know, like, you come here to play racquetball and everything. C can you um yeah. maybe just stop making sex noises while you're playing? Thank you. What do you mean, thank you? <laughs> And it looks like that's the last one on the last new page. So moving on to the final three pages where most of the numbers have already been called. Sorry, I can't get to the phone right now. Please leave me a message. Thank you. It's going great so far. Oh my gosh, this guy has a Wendy's email address. You know, the fast food place. I want to ask him to stop putting flyers on cars. But he's not picking up. Your call has been forwarded to an auto... I'm going to try him one more time. That would be great. Your call has been forwarded to an Darn. automated voice message. I really wanted to call that one. That would have been fun. Stop putting those damn frosty coupons on everyone's windows. Hello? Hello, Kevin? Yeah. Hey, it's Steve from the gym. Oh, okay. How you doing? Pretty good. Hey, uh, did you get a call from us or an email about the phone calls people have been getting from... You know, they're claiming to be us. Uh, I saw an email that I thought Doug forwarded saying some kind of scam was out and about. And yeah. Or something. Is that what you're referring to? Yeah, but the emails, they're not real. Somebody's been spoofing our email address, too. So that that's not real. Yeah. So just, um, I don't... if you get any weird emails, just ignore those. Those aren't real. Okay. Uh... I think I got one here this afternoon confirming that you're good for 8 a.m. 8 tomorrow. Craig says yes, confirmed. So yep, yep. I see we're all good to go. I don't really see anything else, but if I do, okay, I'll keep an yeah, eye out. yeah. Just let us know if you get anything weird. Just you know, when you come on, when you come in. Let me let me let me do something that's always fun. Let me click on the spam folder and see how many instant Russian girls are looking for me. Oh, wow! Great idea. Man, I am I am I am popular, dude. Uh, no, I don't see anything that looked like it got stuck into there either, other than the usual good stuff. Okay, yeah. <laughs> hey, as long as I have you on okay. the phone, as long as I have you on the phone, they wanted me to ask you to stop going into the elevator because that's for people that actually need it. Ted, what? Like, stop going into the elevator, like because you don't really need to use the elevator. Okay. You, you know, just just I don't, don't think I've ever stepped into that elevator ever. Oh no, we, we like you. You go in the elevator. Like every time you come in, you're always you're just in there playing with the buttons and stuff. Because we have a security camera in the elevator. Excuse me. I, I'm just. They just wanted me to. Doug wanted me to ask you if you could please not play in the elevator when you're here. Sure. Okay. You know, you just act your age, basically. <laughs> sure. Okay. 
Well, I don't see why you're laughing. I'm, I'm completely serious. He wants you to just leave the elevator alone. Because I've never been in the elevator there, that's why. No, you go in the elevator all the time. We, we have security tapes. We, no, we, you we don't. The, what do you mean, no, we don't? We do, too. We have tapes. I just told you. No, you don't. We have the latest in tape technology. I, I don't know what you're well, talking about. You go ahead and send me a picture of it then, okay? No, we don't have to don't. send you a picture. I'm just asking you to stay out of there. It's, it's not for you. You don't. It's for people that actually need it, you know, people in wheelchairs and stuff. What, what are you trying to pull? I'm not trying to pull anything. What's your name, what, what's your name again? Steve. Uh, the, Steve who? Doug just wanted me to ask if you could just l stay out of the elevator, stop playing in the elevator. Do you, do you not have anything better to do? Than, than do my job and do what Doug tells me to do? No. And who do you work for? For the gym. You work for the gym. Which gym is that? Your gym. You're full of shit. Well, you're full of shit. You're the one that keeps coming here okay. and pl playing in the, in the damn elevator like you're five. All right, just, just messing with the buttons. Away, okay? Like, st stop doing that. And like, you walk by and you just ah, darn. I was gonna say he keeps walking by and just hitting the button as he walks by to make the doors open. Come on, who who does that at his age? He needs to grow the fuck up. So that was the end of page four. Let's take a look at page five. Your call has been forwarded. That's the end of page five. Here's the last page, but I think I think we're probably pretty much done at this point. Here's Steve. Oh, hey, Steve. This is Doug from the gym. I'm sorry. This is Doug from the gym. Doug. Yeah, that's me. Oh, okay. How you doing? Hey, pretty good. Um, I, I just needed to call and ask you to stop sending emails pretending to be us. What are you talking about? Because you, you sent out emails to everyone here at the gym and said we were having problems or something, and we, tra we traced the, the IP address, and we, we know it was you. No way. Oh, no. We, look, it's... No, you're not in trouble. I'm just asking if you could please not do that again, because it's just confusing everyone. I'm in trouble because I'm not doing anything. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. No, look, you're, I, I'm telling you, you're not in trouble. You don't have to deny it. We just need you to not do that again because it's, it's very, Dirk, it's upsetting. Dirk, you're not listening to me. There's nothing to deny. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Well, no, it, it's either you or your wife because we have your IP address. Yeah, I ain't and, buying that. What do you mean you're not buying it? Yeah, it I, com I, comes through in every I, e email. We can look up the IP address and see... Who sent it, and it comes It comes back to you? No, sir. Well, it's one of nope. you, so maybe you need to talk to your wife about it and, and tell her not to do stuff like nope. that. Nope. Nope. Tell, tell her it's immature. It is, it is totally false. I know. What you wrote in there was false, and it, it upset people, <laughs> and it just causes it, confusion it, here. It's false. What? This accusation is false. No, the accusation's real, because we, we know it was you sending it, and also the way that they write is the same way that you write in your emails. So, like, all ev all evidence what? points... What? Then, then file a police report, no. and I'll deal with it. No, we don't... We don't, we, don't, we don't need to take that route. I'm just asking if you could please cut it out. Just, just don't do that again. There's nothing I've ever done like this. You're out of your mind. Yeah, this is the first time. Yeah, right. That's what they all say. No, really, just 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 don't do it again, and that's the end of it. Okay, no no big deal. I'm not gonna tell me. I'm not. What are you talking about? Well, now I'm getting upset because you're totally talking out of school. And if you got something to deal with, then fucking deal with it through the authorities. No, look, I'm not telling the other members that it was you. It's just between us, between me, you, and... Oh, he is so guilty. Just listen to the way he's denying it. He couldn't make it any more obvious, could he? This is Nick. Hey, Nick. It's Doug from the gym. Uh, yeah, how's it going? Pretty good. Hey, uh, they wanted me to call you up and ask if you can stop going into the boiler room. I don't know what you're talking about. You know, like going downstairs into the boiler room, like that's an employee's only area. We, we always see. I have no idea. What you're... 
we always noticed after you leave, you know, we look on the security cameras and we can see you going down in the boiler room and you're not supposed to be down there. What gym are you talking about? Let's start there. Uh, gym, the gym that you come to to play racquetball? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just, it's not a big what? deal. You're not, I'm not, I'm not calling to like scold you or anything. I'm just, if you could just not go I down. I don't even, I don't know what you're talking about though. What boiler room? Uh, there's a boiler room, you know, that keeps the, the building all warm and stuff in the wintertime. I've never been in there. You, no, you have. We we know you've been down there multiple times. We just need you to not go down there anymore. Like, you have no business down are there. You, there's nothing down there. Are you sure it's me and not someone else? Oh, no, I'm positive it's you. Like, we, we have security cameras, and, you know, it's it's always you as you're, after you sign in up here, and you, you you're always going to the boiler room, and we don't know why. I don't. And I really think you're the wrong person. No, I'm sure. Look, okay, you don't have to deny it. it it's I, you're not. I, I, you're catching me completely off guard because I I didn't even know where the boiler room is. Yeah, that's that's something that you would say to try and convince me. I understand that, but but just just in in the future, if whenever you're here, just don't go down there anymore, please. Can you at least tell me where it is? Because I don't even know. Well, it's the one that says boiler room employees only. Uh, it's just, you know, it's it's the one, it's down the stairs. And, you know, there's like a big, big boiler. It's a bunch of steam and heat and stuff. There's janitor supplies. Yeah. The jan I think you have the wrong number because it's definitely not me. No, it's it definitely, I'm sure it's you. It, just please stop. That's, like, this doesn't have to be complicated. Just stop going down there. The janitor said he's been finding, like, remnants of, like, you know, marijuana paraphernalia stuff down there and i hope that's not why you're going down there just is to smoke weed um you may have somebody that looks like me but i 100 percent promise you that it is not me okay if you say so if just, you can show me the video that'd be great all right look just don't bring marijuana into our gym I'm and, not. and don't go into the boiler room anymore and the end okay um, we'll, we'll it's, okay it, it's over okay just just stop it all right Stay out of the boiler room. We don't want to put a lock on it. That's ridiculous. Sounds like you might have to because you have somebody going in there that's not me. Well, I bet you that someone's going to mysteriously stop doing it now that he's been caught. Hopefully. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm referring All to right, you. Bye. I'm referring to you. I forget where it was. I think it was on YouTube, but somebody posted some suggestions of other places that are off limits that they shouldn't be going into. And I think someone suggested an elevator or an elevator shaft. Stop going on top of the elevator. And they suggested some other things too, but I forget what they were. All I remember is elevator. You know, in reference to a few calls ago when I told someone to stay out of the damn elevator. Stop playing with the elevator like you're a kid. But yeah, I had to get one more boiler room call out of this list. I've still got quite a few numbers to call. They're all ones that I called before on the previous show, but none of them picked up. But that guy picked up, so maybe these other people will too. You never know. Please leave your message for Dave. I'm sorry, your message cannot be recorded as this user's mailbox is full. Darn. Please I was totally going to leave a message too. I'm not getting any answers now, so I think the show is just about over. You guys are ready for some voicemails, right? It's going to be the best voicemail segment ever. Oh, I know. The circuit breaker room. You know, like the electrical room or whatever you'd call it. Stop going in there and blinking all the lights while people are trying to work out. You have reached the voicemail for Jen. But I think I'm not going to get through to anyone else. I've only got two people left here. Hello, I'm sorry I'm not here to take your call. Please. One person left. Come on, Mark. Don't fail us. I want to tell people to quit blinking the lights. Hello, it's Mark. Oh, hey, Mark. It's Steve from the gym. Mm-hmm. And uh, Doug wanted me to call you up and ask you to stay out of the electrical room whenever you come in here. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you... I've, I've heard. He, he's, he's talking about it. Okay, yeah, because, you know, people are trying to work, work out, and you're, you're just going in there and blinking the lights, and that's really immature. Mm-hmm. So, yep, yep, just stay out of there. All right, so is that it? Yep, that's all. Just, just as long as we have an understanding, stay out of the electrical room. Those breaker, you know, mm -hmm. you're like you're resetting computers and stuff too when you flip those switches. Oh wow, yeah, that's terrible. It. It's, so hey, um, it's a real pain in the ass. Uh, this is Steve. Huh? Steve from the gym. Steve from the gym. Yeah, 
from the gym. All right. So I All can right. call you at this number, right? Yeah, sure. And, yeah, call me right back if okay. you want to. I'm just I'm going to tell you the same thing. Though, just st okay. Stay out of the the damn electrical oh. room. No. Okay. So they've essentially uh, notified everybody who you are and of your phone number. Ah, so shit. You're not. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Fuck. I thought you were totally buying it. Uh, nope. Y'all keep working on that. Crap. Got busted on my very last try. What a horrible ending to a show. I'm going to make it up to you, though, right now by playing a bunch of voicemails. Hey, Brad. Tapwater Wolf here. Hey. I was just listening to your latest episode uh, of The Church Calls on my way to work. That's not the latest episode. I swear to God, I love the way your mind works. <laughs> Aw. You like, know, I was probably using ideas from the chat room. I don't have original ideas. How you uh, turned on the God's voice, and then immediately in your head, you started making all the mystical connections. First you said, hi, I'm God. And then next thing you go, uh, I've been watching you <laughs> being naughty and nice, yep. which means, you know, you're probably, your brain probably made a connection between Santa naughty and nice and then right after that you go I'll answer three questions while i'm on the phone which is kind of like a genie thing i should do more three of those wishes three <laughs> i swear to god i've been laughing that's so probably just really high that's all wreck. thank you brad you're welcome thank you so much cactus cactus anytime Bye. And whoever I stole ideas from that night, I'm sorry that this guy is giving me all the credit. It's not my fault. Hey, Brad. Uh, hey. This is my first call. Uh, I'm a oh, new crap. Patreon supporter. Congratulations uh, on your so first call. So I know that you weren't calling Maryland, but in case someone were to be calling Maryland... Oh, no, I wouldn't call show, Maryland. Um, she, the, the, the Royal Farms person did say that he or she was a veteran. Um, if she's in Maryland and a veteran, there's a pretty decent chance that she worked at Fort Meade at some point, and she might have actually had some interesting techniques to use to Crap. get back to your number. I'm fucked. So, I wouldn't call Maryland anymore. Okay. Not that you were, but no, I wouldn't do it. I wasn't. Now, the reason I kept saying that is because I had a bunch of Royal Farm numbers on that list that were in Maryland, and, you know, maybe one or two of them may have gotten called, but for the most part, I was sticking to Pennsylvania and Virginia and New Jersey and just, you know, all of the other states on that list that were not Maryland. So I really wasn't calling Maryland. I was just making a point to not call Maryland by accident because I don't want to do that. But no, I figured out how she got my number. It's because I was stupid and I had my home telephone number showing up as my caller ID for every single person I called that night. I can't believe I didn't get more callbacks. I'm such a dummy. Hey, RBCP, this is Steven calling you back. Uh, the payphone here in Detroit, the Ooh. one payphone in the MGM Grand is not functioning. It stole $2 uh -huh. from me, so I'm uh -huh. currently calling from the front desk. Oh, okay. That's, I guess, all I have to say. Also, I want to let you know that the ANAC numbers and the INAC numbers do not work anymore for the 313 area code. Crap. At least from this current payphone. Why would you need them, though? So, 200-222-2222 does not work, nor does 1-800-444-4444 does not work. Oh, really? Nor does 200. That's the one I always want. Oh man, just shut up. I don't need like every single number that doesn't work. Sorry, I shouldn't tell you to shut up. But probably now the technicians can just call their cell phones and look at the caller. Hey, RBCP, this is C Band calling you from a real payphone oh, at the hey. MGM Grand Casino. There's one left in the lobby in Detroit. Again. That's all I have to say. It finally worked. Busy line long tonight on a Saturday night. Bye. Bye. <laughs> So your number on that payphone came up as one zero 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 zero. So I guess they don't have it configured properly. Alright. Hey. Break the monkey boy here. Yep. It yeah. sure is. I'm on this little uh, road down here in North Carolina called Sycamore Street. That sounds like a street you would uh you would make up on some of your calls. But anyway. I think they should call it Funeral Home Street. I live on Pelican. I've passed probably four or five funeral homes within the two-mile radius. The street's and, in a uh, circle? Must be some big business because it doesn't seem like a lot of people live in this area. I was thinking, Roy, that'd be a good They're project probably killing to people. do one day. You know, let's be more of it. Nothing wrong. You could always, uh, what's the best, you know, 
way to handle grief is laugh through laughter. That's right. Do a morbid show. I'm gonna I'm gonna call and, up funerals uh, and be like, "LOL, your dad's dead." Prank calls from funeral homes to say, "Hey, you know, uh, you got any dead people in there? I want to go look at some bodies." <laughs> And just think of all kinds that of dead person you have in there is actually a robot. We're going to need him back. Craziness and stuff. Just something you put down in your little notepad. Okay. Just, not just do that one, all right? All right. As always, Ruprek out. Ruprek away. Bye, Ruprek. I used to call up a lot of funeral homes when I was a kid in grade school. I don't know why. We just thought it was funny. I don't remember what we said to him. I just remember that we prank called the funeral home a lot. But I said... Hey. I just got the funny noise on my phone again. It was going do 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 do. I was just going to phone up to mention. Have you saw that? Have you saw this thing called is that this beef video on YouTube? And it's about the first man bought it. Is this the same voicemail that I got on the last show where I couldn't understand what he's saying because of the connection? So people stand outside for camera and the film buildings. But then someone, like a piece, uh, a security guard comes up, comes yeah. through the building and he asks the people not to sell him. And it's quite good. You need to give them a try. All right. Thanks for the voicemail. You need to just start recording your voicemails as MP3s and emailing them to me so I can understand you because your connection's terrible. Hey, Roy. I'm Brad. Fuck, baby Jesus tonight. Ho, cock. What? What's happening? Fuck, baby Jesus tonight. Ho, cock. This is weird. Fuck, baby Jesus tonight, ho cock. I don't know what's happening. Fuck, baby Jesus tonight. Pretty sure this is a threat. Alright. Goodbye, Bancho. Wow, he called me a Bancho. That seemed uncalled for. (laughs) Hey, Brad. uh, This is uh, Caitlin. I uh, sent you uh, my grandfather's phone number like four years ago, whatever, for you to call him. You finally just called him today. I remember that. I happened to be at his house, and he is still on the phone with you right now. (laughs) He's that old British guy. Oh, no, the British guy. And uh, (laughs) I'm just sitting here, like, crouching in the doorway so he can't see me and, like, stifling my laughter. Uh, <laughs> like hearing you uh, talk to him or whatever. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, thank you very much for doing this. This wow. is awesome. Uh, fucking cactus, cactus, stop giving me snake eyes. Uh, fucking love you, Brad. Bye. <laughs> okay. Wow. That You didn't tell me he was your grandpa. And if you don't know what she's talking about, that's a call that I made on a hobo sode where I called up this old British guy and told him to hang up the phone, and he wouldn't. And he just sat there and insulted me for 30 minutes straight. Right, I'm not waiting for your permission. Who the hell do you think you are? Permission? You little stupid worm. You're a stupid worm. <laughs> Look, this would all be over if you just hang up the phone. Just hang up the phone and go well, to bed. I'm not going to hang up the phone until I want to hang the phone up. Were you asleep when I called? Oh, piss off, you stupid little bugger. And you can hear the entire 30 minutes of that by signing up on patreon.com slash phone losers. Hey, Brad. It's me, Denver. I always set my voicemail early because I think the, the beep is going to be early, but it's not. Oh. Uh, I'm just calling to let you know that okay. Valentine's Day is this Thursday and that uh, I don't love you. But I love the idea of you. Oh, wow. So, yeah, keep Fuck it up. You. Bye. I mean, thanks. I'm a little behind on voicemails, by the way. Right now, I'm up to February 11th. I was hoping to do an extra snowplow show this week so that I could get rid of the rest of these voicemails and... Hola, Brad. It's Christine. Catch okay, up. so, or Curious Roy, whatever you go by now. Hey. So, thank you for the stickers. I got them, like, a week ago. I just haven't called. Um, also, I was going to try You're to bribe welcome. you to do more, like, hang up the phone calls, but that last call just, like, did it for me, so I might just send you the five bucks for that fucking oh, patience. I don't know how you went that call. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so thanks for the stickers, and, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Oh, um, yeah, and don't be a piss fart anymore. Don't be a piss fart. Yeah, that's what he kept saying to me. He kept calling me a piss fart. That was bullshit. Oops, I forgot my Paris talk. No pal, no pal. Oh, okay. And speaking of stickers, I mailed out a bunch of stickers yesterday. I spent several hours sending out stickers to people who had asked for stickers. Because if you're a supporter of the show, I usually will send out stickers if you ask nicely enough. So if you did that at any point within the past couple of months, 
They should be in the mail. You'll probably get them in the next day or two. Also, some people, you know, ordered some stickers. I don't know where I still have an order form set up for stickers, but apparently I do because occasionally I get an order for stickers, even though I have a Zazzle store now that has a bunch of stickers on it. I don't have to do anything to make those go out. And there were a couple of people that ordered those lapel pins. I sent those out yesterday. I was really busy yesterday. So be expecting mail from me soon if you asked for stickers. I've been away for a month, so I was really behind on the stickers. Hey, Brad. No glove, no love here, a.k.a. Hey. Kyle from Florida. Hello. So, uh, let's give you a little throwback. Okay. First time caller, first time listener, and uh, let's, let's see if you actually do it. Add, all right, Brad, add the echo. You ready? Oh, great. Yeah. I love Kyle I from Florida. Away! Oh, look at that weird. The voicemail cut off for some reason. I don't know why. It's the weirdest thing. I didn't stop it or anything. I think that's going to do it for today's voicemails. Thanks, everybody, for sending in voicemails. And if I didn't play your voicemail, hopefully I will soon. Thank you to the sponsors of today's show. Nikki D, B.I. Eber for Life, SimSpeak, Christine, and Boca Recovery Center. Those are a few of the many people who've been supporting the show on Patreon at patreon.com slash phone losers. You can also support the show at phone losers.com slash cactus. And there's a third place now. It's newproject2.com slash phone losers. You can support the show there. It works the exact same way as the Patreon and the cactus whatever thing on the website. You get a free extra show every week and you help keep the show going. So thank you everybody for supporting the show. Don't forget there's a meetup in San Jose on March 16th. That's less than a month away. I still don't know if I can make it or not. I did a call-in show this week with Mr. Biggs on Wednesday, and somebody called in and said that they thought I was just saying that for whatever reason. But no, I'm serious. I probably won't be in San Jose next month. I hope I can make it, but I'm just not going to know. I don't know yet. I will do my best, and I'm going to send some stickers there, whether I make it or not. Some brand new style of stickers that I've never done before. So it's completely worth going to go there and hang out with Laugh Track Matt and Zax and Dwight and Wasted Memory and Nick Caesar and Nick Caesar's dog. Nick Caesar's dog is going to be there and Don Fickles. All these people are going to be there that I really want to meet and I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it so that sucks. But still, you should go. It's going to be great fun. Bye everyone. Here's some emergency pizza party. Yo, I got bees and I got PS3s. Look at me strutting walking down. Hidden scale of the floor. Sounds the alarm. I am not a shorthand and I am not a secretary.